Yes, people. Welcome to Poke the Bear, a brand new channel. This is a quick run through on what we did in order to upload the first video. Step one, of course, is to create a channel using a Gmail address. Uh, the channel options are personal or business. I recommend going for business and we'll show you the reason why later. Step two, YouTube Studio. So once you've logged in using your Gmail address, and that will give you the layout of the studio. Uh, the first thing you will see is the channel dashboard. You have options to upload or options to have a YouTube live. Uh, there's a panel for news, panel for channel analytics, which gives you a summary of your views and your watch hours. Okay, so we're gonna go into the video section, which is next. Video section basically will show you all the videos that you've uploaded so far. These tabs gives you different options where you can edit the description of your text so far. You have the area where you can look if the video is private, public or unlisted. You have a schedule button which allows you to schedule it in future events. In terms of uploads, you can schedule more than one video and upload it while you're not even there. So this is the video section. Next section is the comment section. This is where you, are, you can see all the published comments or you can have a look at the comments which were held for review. So these are options which you have to set up beforehand and we'll have a look at that later on. So the next section we're moving on to, folks, is the monetization. So obviously it's too early to go into depth about this, but this gives you the information that you need to know how to make money directly through YouTube. Channel customization. So there's a couple of things we can do in this area. So obviously we've got the publish button in the top right-hand corner. So any changes that you've made, you can come back here and press the publish button to publish and update the existing video that's already on there. Immediately underneath this, we have your channel link. The basic info allows you to look at your channel descriptions. So a good place to view what text you have added to your channel description. It gives you an option to say what language you need. This is also the area in which you would add links. And finally, you have the contact information. So contact information would be an email address. Okay, so next is the YouTube audio library. So you have a audio library, which is just music. Audio library, as you can see, all the music is 
copyrighted to YouTube. Okay, next option here is settings, under settings, this is where you set all your information regarding your channel, so they want you to select what sort of currency, if you're in Europe and you're using the Euro, you select Euro. The next section is your information for the website. So website name, country of residence, you select the country and then you select a few keywords which relate to the location in which you're in. And that's all under the basic tab. Advanced settings, advanced settings allows us to select whether your content will be for children or not for children and and that's basically it for this area so the others we don't need to do Okay, so next option, we're gonna have a look at how you upload a video. So once your video has been made and it's ready to go, you click on the dashboard or videos. There's, yeah, we click on the dashboard, click on upload videos. Here we are back in the video section. So we've only got this one video. If we, as we can see, we've got different options there, similar to what we had before. But if we click on the video, we have this section here where we have the title of the video, the description of the video. We have an option to add a thumbnail. Also on here, we have a link to the particular video. So if you wanna just 
copy and paste that link and put it into somewhere else in terms of your other social media accounts you can do that as well we'll ignore the playlist for the time being come back to that at a later date uh, make sure that you, your video is for kids or not for kids so make sure that's selected properly before we move on also here we have the cards these are the the images or boxes that appear either during the video or at the end of the video where you can suggest another video for them to watch If we click on show more, we have more options. And the most important one here is the tags. The tags are keywords or phrases which relate directly to your video. Okay, so these are three basic mistakes which you need to look out for. One, have your content, tags and description, having them not ready. So if you don't have them ready, okay, we're talking about the search engine optimization part of your video, you're not going to be able to promote your video properly. Mistake number two, not designing a proper thumbnail. So if you don't have a proper thumbnail, which is going to help promote your video, again, you're going to have to use keywords that you used previously in your SEO to help promote your video so people can go to it. So this in thumbnail includes an image and it also includes text. So have that planned, prepared and designed properly so that can help promote your video. So that's the second mistake. And the final mistake is not having your text in the right areas when you're in YouTube studio. So for example, in my first video, the subscribe button up just above that, it had my name instead of the, the channel name it had the it had my name which was totally incorrect so make sure that where it says title in terms of the channel it has the channel title and not your name or somebody else's name so that's all for me hope this helps good luck and i'll see you soon i'm out